It's non-divers, people that can't dive, things like that. Oh, really? Yeah. Landlocked people from like the Midwest. <laughs> yeah. Landlocked people. Yeah. Lots of landlocked people. All right. Just waiting for a few to jump on here. Hello, hello, welcome. Check out that water, guys. We're getting ready to take you out there. Glass. It's gorgeous. I think the snorkel report said 8.0 or was it 9.0? 8.5. 8 8.5. the north. And so we're down here at a dive site called the Lua right now, guys. It's a gorgeous Sunday. Nobody works on Sundays, so you can see there's no more classes or anything going on. So it's, it's just us out here, guys. I see one other dive flag out there. Hi from Canada. Welcome. All right. It's really, really hot. As you can see, Matt and I got all of our gear on. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get you guys in the underwater phone case. And for those of you that have never joined us before, this is how we read your comments and communicate with you guys while we're underwater. So we have a clear back and this is a pressurized case. So we can go ahead and put the phone in here. Oh, it's going to be some jostling. So bear with us. Here we go. It's going to look like Mars until I get that red filter off. All right. Now you can see again. It's going to sound a little bit more muffled now because you are in a water tight case. What we're going to do now is, you know, Wi-Fi doesn't exist underwater, but we figured a way to make it happen. So we got our Wi-Fi system here on the surface, and then we have our cord that gets strapped to our phone. You know, what I'm hoping to see today, actually, trade me. Um, you know, I want to see some octopus. That'd be kind of cool. Octopus, yeah. Frogfish, that'd be awesome too. Um, you know, this site, we might not be out here early enough, but there's also known for a man rays. Sorry, I can't read comments right now. Yeah, we're just trying to get this out so that uh, we will be able to see you guys comment. What's the lady? Sorry, I don't know her name. You want to introduce yourself? This is Soraya. She's going to be diving with us today, guys. We're at Alua in the always sunny Kihei. Super excited to take you guys live underwater. You want your compass? Yeah. We are the only people who do this mobily, meaning we're in different locations as we're live. Super excited guys, we're about to take you out underwater around 35 feet. Almost done guys. So before we go out guys, make sure to like, share, follow, support us any way you can. We appreciate it. Help us with those algorithms. If you have no one to share it with, all you have to do is click the uh, copy button and that tricks uh, TikTok's algorithms. Enhances them. Enhances them. We don't want to take advantage of TikTok. <laughs> All right. Guys, if you're uh, just joining in, make sure to drop some comments. Let's see what you're hoping to see. Yeah, is there anything we should be looking for? Anything you guys want to see that we should stay with for a lot, a little bit? You want your glove? Uh, yes. Yeah, go ahead and take that. All right, guys, we're almost ready. We uh, got the last few minute things. 1.5 thousand people on here right now. So a lot of you guys, go ahead and tap that screen. And then make sure you're dropping some comments. You want to see some sharks, the ocean, sea turtles. You know, we're hoping to see all of that stuff right now. Shark would be cool. Uh, it's not a very well-known site for sharks, but you know, we get lucky sometimes. You're kind of more towards Molokini over there. So you get a lot of the pelagic activity that comes a little closer in. Always want to see octopus. Yes, that would be fun. Kalam taco here in Hawaii. It's actually a Japanese word, believe it or not. <laughs> right, I live in Mount 23 years. Fantastic. All right, guys, we're two minus two minutes. Is it a little cloudy out there? Yeah, perfect. Well, we'll have some fun anyway. All right, guys. There we go. Let's do this. 
Got a little bit of a walk, so while I'm walking, I'm not gonna be able to read a lot of your comments. Get the board. Yep, got the board. Air's on, you got your weights in? Yes. Perfect. Your air on? Got, got weights? Perfect. All right. Okay, fun little walk down here, but it is nice and calm out there. Just had a diver come in. He says it's a little murked up, but we'll use our compass and we'll head out, have some fun. So, check out, right? Check out that view, guys. Okay. Hi, Ayla. <laughs> Ayla, come grab this bag from us. Oh, that works. Okay. So, as you can see, it's a little bit of a low tide right now, guys. So, bear with us as we make our way out into the water. We're going to go ahead and kick out a little ways. And then go ahead and drop, have some fun. Got everybody on the beach staging here ready on vacation. <laughs> oh yeah. Where is this? We are at Alua Beach again, guys. We love this dive set. We did it for the second time the other day. So we're hoping to have some fun again. So I'm a little tangle here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh Get my fins on a little. I'm gonna go a little deeper. A little brown here on the surface. All right, we're on shore. You good, Matt. Yeah. What's behind you? The ocean's behind me. <laughs> okay. You wanna go ahead and hold that for just a second? Looks beautiful. Yeah, we're hoping it's as nice up top as it is down below. Do you know any dolphins? I haven't seen any dolphins while diving. Brittany and I have seen them all kayaking though. And they're so cool, such intelligent animals. I got lucky once, we were on the big island looking for a tiger shark and we saw dolphins instead. So we didn't see the shark, but you know, it was a blessing seeing the tiger, are there are dolphins. All right, I'm gonna take that back. Okay guys, we're gonna go ahead and kick out a little ways, get a little deeper. Go ahead and explore this beautiful reef here at Alua Beach. Should be should be fun. I mean, it's always fun. I don't know why I say should be. It's going to be fun. We're going to make it fun. All right, let me turn this around so I can read some of your comments. Uh, see, it's on the list. Let's see. Yeah, guys, check it out. It's gorgeous out. We got Red Hill over there. You guys have uh, frequented dives with us. You can see Red Hill over there where we do a lot of our dives. Right over there is Kaholave. It's an uninhabited island. Uh, they used to use that for bombing practice, believe it or not. So there's still a lot of unexploded ordinances over there. And then that little thing that you see in between it is Molokini Crater. We've actually taken you guys out there live at Molokini Crater before. So, lots of fun stuff. Okay. We're just gonna go ahead. We got a little bit more of a kick out, guys, before we go ahead and drop. I'm gonna go ahead and pop my head in. Oh, it doesn't look too bad. Otherwise, right now we're just over sand. So, so fun. Just starting. You want our weather. <laughs> you know, we're, we're pretty blessed right now. We're going into summertime. A lot of the wind and rain is uh, beyond us. If you guys joined in recently in the past couple of months, you'll notice a lot of the times we couldn't dive just because of all the rain. Right now it's 9.22 in the morning. So, now we're going to head out at probably 270. We'll just hold that bearing until uh, whatever that looks like for you. You might have to go to the right just a hair for you. And then uh, we'll find that circle. And then let's just see if we can go a little deeper from it. Sound good? Yeah. I got you. All right. You good? All right. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and test this, so let's see how it looks. Here we go. Oh, All right, I got perfect. Awesome. Sweet. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and drop right here and 
We'll go against the wall and have some fun. Yep. Okay, let me find our regulator. Go to Bali. I know we definitely want to go to Bali. It's gonna be awesome. We're gonna go everywhere, guys. You just you just wait. We're gonna start off in Cozumel. Yeah, visibility does look decent. Uh, diver said it's a little marked up out there, but you know we'll find out. All right, you guys good? Everybody good? Yeah. All right, here we go, guys. Let's go ahead and drop. Time to dive, dive live.
our stuff. Oh, that the cord is yours. Oh yeah. God, it was like in an aquarium. Even though it was a little murky out there, it's still awesome. Uh, that sponge crab, man. I get a kick out of those guys. They just like hide themselves pretty, pretty darn good with just whatever they can find. I thought it was a piece of coral. That was so awesome. <laughs> Did you? <clears throat> Sorry, so much mucus. So much mucus. I'm going to clear it all off my face. Oh, that was a good dive. It was like 78 minutes, I think. 80 minute dive. Yeah. Good times. I still have 500 left. That was perfect. Uh, all right, guys, we're going to go ahead and kind of kick in a little shallow water, get our fins off, get back up there, get you guys free. I had to park super far away, like probably a good half mile away. So I'm probably going to have to end the live before we can load up the truck just so I can go get it. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little bit of a ways away. Uh, yeah, excellent guy. Guys, thank you so much for helping us reach that live goal. You guys are freaking phenomenal. Oh my goodness, that was amazing, guys. Appreciate okay, all your support. So cool. so cool. Yeah, that like brownish starfish. Yeah. I'll have to look that one up too. I wasn't sure what that was. Uh, those... Did you see? Yeah, the pugfish are cool. Uh huh. There's two of them. <laughs> I thought that was cool. Oh, right. How long does it take to train to be a diver? You know, it really depends on the, uh, you know, your time frame. I think probably right around a week is probably a good good guesstimate, uh, but it really just depends on the dive shop that you work with and how, how many dives you guys can do in a day. Uh, you did miss it. I'm so sorry. Uh, you can do it. Oh, Carrie, Carrie's an instructor. She says you can do it in about two days at the on the tail end. Yeah, it really just depends on how committed you want to be. Uh, I did mine pretty quick. Matt did his pretty quick. Let's see, what was that yellow eel y'all saw the other day? You know, I think Matt posted something in the Discord about it. Uh, I'll have to look it up again. I don't really remember. Uh, uh, Matt says it was called a dwarf moray. And then we saw a cool zebra uh, eel, I think it was. Uh, pretty sure that's what it was called. Looking for uh, its next urgent meal. <laughs> Yeah, Kara says that she recommends taking your time. Absolutely. Guys, thank you for all the gifts. Absolutely phenomenal. I appreciate all the support you guys. It helps to keep everything going. It really does. All right. Yeah, so someone says minimum about three days. Yeah, so again, it really just depends on your comfort level and you know how your instructor feels like you're handling everything. Look at this super crew right here. These are my beach fish right here. <laughs> Say hi, beach fish. <laughs> You're almost ready, monkey. All right, I'll meet you guys up there. Could you suffocate? I mean, yeah, you could suffocate eating, so I'd imagine you could do it diving, but there's a lot of redundancies in diving, you know, a lot of protocols in place. Safety is absolutely the number one priority after making sure that you don't hold your breath. <laughs> Are you diving tomorrow? Uh, it's kind of up in the air. We got about three days left to be out of our house, so there's not a lot of uh, a lot of time left to really dive. But we're gonna try. We are going to try. Okay. Yeah, just, just bear with me while I take off all this gear. I don't have a truck to just throw it all in, so it makes it a little bit more difficult. <sighs> yeah, never dive alone. Absolutely. Super smart not to do that. <sighs> but, yeah. Yeah, we have a lot of people that, uh, that aren't used to diving, so we try to educate them on what not to do. <sighs> Yay, we hit the bulls. Awesome, guys. Yeah. 
Appreciate you. Oh, it's freaking phenomenal. We hit it, Matt. Yeah. yeah. Matt says he's going to do a little dance. Check it. Yeah. Do the gritty in your suit. I'm just kidding. I don't want you getting hurt. <laughs> Cars parked about a mile or half a mile up the road. <laughs> in the parking lot? Yeah. Okay. No, 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 no. You're crippled. Don't worry. Just give me a moment. I'll go grab it. <laughs> well, yeah, sorry, bro. I promised to dance from both of you. All right, hold on. Give me a sec. Let me get this off. Yeah. I'm going to floss it up. <laughs> Ready? Got to back up. Got to uh, back up. Why do I? Get in here. Come on. Here, Let's go. Matt, bring your kid out here. <laughs> yes, you are too white. Ready, guys? Come on, Matt. And now a shaka. All right. <laughs> guys, you guys are all phenomenal. Uh, Matt says he's a little embarrassed, though. Everyone show him some love. <laughs> Matt wants another cowboy hat. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, it's so funny, guys. Uh, we try to have some fun. Buenos noches. Uh, we appreciate it. We're going to see you guys in uh, Cozumel. Well, not you guys, but we'll be in Cozumel here in a couple Matt disappoints. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Father and son. No, absolutely not. Matt is my brother-in-law. <laughs> they said we love you, Matt. <laughs> so funny. Guys, we got a long way. Oh, he's still, yeah, he's still got all of his gear on. So give him, give him some. Oh, there's the mustache and the hat. Yeah. <laughs> it was perfect, too. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Guys, you guys all rock. Thank you so much for the support, guys. And again, uh, if you're just joining in, we just finished up a dive here at Alua Beach. It was a great dive. We saw um, sponge crab, zebra eels. That I mean, sponge crab was so cool. Yeah, crown of thorns. It was a huge sponge crab. We saw uh, tons of different types of eels, tons of different starfish. Uh, that puffer fish, you know, just let us kind of come up super close to it. I mean, it was a it was a gorgeous, gorgeous dive out there. Super fun. Yes, huge, huge shout out to all of our moderators on today. Guys, they are absolutely phenomenal. Let's give them all a, a big shaka. Come on, throw some shakas up in the comments for them. Guys, they are absolutely divine at answering all of your comments today, or today, excuse me, and actually helping me kind of identify some of this stuff. Because, uh, you know, I'm not going to lie, I'm not, uh, I'm not perfect at everything. That is Daniela. That's my mama. She's out here helping out. <laughs> So it was super amazing to, to have all of our moderators on here just, just crushing the comments, you guys. So if I couldn't answer everything, as, as you saw, it was a little rough to kind of write on the board. Well, excuse me, they, they chimed in and, and got it done for me. So super, super awesome moderators, guys. We love you guys. Mwah, 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 mwah. <laughs> That's for you guys. Everyone says, hi, Lance's mom. <laughs> All right, let me get you guys out of the case real quick. You can't push the button to the shower? <laughs> Almost coming to the rescue. <laughs> All right, hold on. I'm going to get you guys out of this case so it sounds a little better here. Bear with me one second. There we are. Okay, set this guy down. Try to get my glove off with one hand. Yeah. Best underwater penmanship I've ever seen. You know, I try. Sometimes it's a little hard with a magnet board to really get clear, clear handwriting. And then you throw in the surge on top of it. And then you throw in trying to make sure you're not going to run into anything. So that's the most important thing while we're doing these dives is having awareness of what's around us. You never want to try to touch the reef. So I appreciate that. <laughs> Freedom! I know you guys can hear a lot better now. <laughs> So there's a couple of cars parked right here, guys. I'm just going to wait for some of them to clear out. Uh, I'll spend a few more minutes with you guys before I have to venture to the, uh, about a half a mile down the road to go get the car. It's a little bit of a jog, so it was fun. But guys, look at that. So again, you have Cahola Lave. That, that island back there is part of the Maui County also. Um, it was uh, It's uninhabited, but it, uh, it used to be used as a, a bombing place. And then you have Molokini Crater there as well. When's the next dive, you know? 
It's a great question. We have uh, plans to go see Little Mermaid tonight. Yeah, you heard that right. We're going to go watch Little Mermaid. You know, we're going to go see what our uh, our fishy companions look like on the big screen. <laughs> and uh, after that, uh, I think we're just going to kind of do a little bit of family time and with some friends. Again, we only have a few more days here in Maui, guys. We are uh, um, flying out on the 1st. Yeah, hopefully hopefully it's, it'll be fun. I heard mixed reviews, but it should be fun nonetheless. We're excited. It'll be it'll be good. It's kind of cool, a little live action, little mermaid. You know, <clears throat> we consider ourselves the mermaids. <laughs> Vagabonding. <laughs> Not sure what that means, but I'm gonna have to look it up. Is Matt gonna do live Maui dives? Probably not, but he's gonna come venture off to Cozumel with us. Yeah, so we're getting ready to take these all around the world with you guys, and we're gonna start off in Mexico. So make sure you're following if you're not, because we're we're gonna again take this international favorite princess ever. I am wearing underwear, yes. <laughs> Ayla. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, I gotta go get the truck. Uh, we gotta get all this gear loaded. Hold on, monkey. And then uh, we're gonna go uh, and try to talk Brittany into doing another dive. So we'll see. We'll see what she says. Um, we gotta go get some tanks first and kind of clean off all this stuff. But we appreciate you guys. I gotta go help the little monkey. She needs help with the shower. And then I gotta go <clears throat> on this venture about a half mile down the road to go pick up this, uh, pick up my truck because there's no parking here. And then after that, we're gonna go clean all this gear and uh, go have some fun for the rest of the day. So. I'm gonna tune out, guys. We love you all. Stay tuned. We're gonna to try to bring more later on. Make sure you jump on the Discord, jump on YouTube, check out these past dives. Uh, also Instagram, you know, all those places. Uh, we try to notify you guys of what we're doing because not everybody gets the notifications here on TikTok. So uh, make sure you jump on all those other platforms. So guys, appreciate you all. Enjoy the view. Aloha, mahalo, buenos noches, adios, tschüss, ciao. Auf Wiedersehen <laughs> and uh, adios.